All right, here's a power probe three. I've got it attached to this jump box for a 12 volt source. Uh, I use the adapter to plug this in. The adapter is very handy for working under the dash. You can find your power port in your car and then you don't need to run it all the way out to the battery. You can get a power and ground through that uh, power port. Uh, as you can see, there's a huge long lead here that uh, you can use for this thing. And then there's inside this, there's another lead. So you could pretty much reach around the car two or three times. <laughs> now, I also bought this pack of adapters for, oh, I don't know, $25 whole thing was over a little over a hundred bucks when I bought it. What I'm going to show you, try to show you today, is how to use this thing safely if you're going to test sensors. Uh, this is a powerful tool, but it will destroy your car's computer if you make a mistake with it. And here's how it works. Uh, or here's how you don't want it to work. Um, when you touch this, you'll see the green light showing ground. That's showing power. Let me see if I can get this thing to beep for me. Yeah. If you find the beep annoying, you can turn it off. Now, um, this thing will also send power or ground somewhere. Now, if you're testing a, a sensor on your car, 5 volt reference vo uh, voltage sensor, and you have this switch turned on, you know, or active, and you accidentally send power through that circuit, you have just destroyed your computer because that circuit is uh, designed for 5 volt reference um, power. It's not designed to hold 12 volts. If you put 12 volts through it, it's going to destroy the computer and you're going to be very sad, very sad. So, how do you prevent this? Well, here's how you prevent it. You First of all, on your battery in your car, if you're gonna use this just to test sensors and not to like send power and ground anywhere, you trip the breaker first, like this. You touch ground and you send 12 volts to ground. There. You've just tripped the breaker, see? There's the breaker right there. Well, now that you've tripped that breaker, this thing still works as a meter. See? Still shows voltage. And you even get the annoying beep. Uh, annoying beep. Let's get it this way. There it goes. All right, that's ground. And this is power. You see, I need to charge up my jump pack. It's gotten a little low. Haven't used it in a while. So, you can use this thing now safely as a meter because you can't send power anywhere or ground either for that matter, see? This thing's circuit breaker is tripped. Now, um, whenever you're done fooling with that, and we'll go back to that little symbol to show you this. Now you can set other modes too, which I've never used, but minimum, maximum. Uh, peak to peak and you can uh, somehow or other one of these buttons does it I'm not sure which one maybe not that one I don't know you can set maximum voltage on it oh there it goes okay see you push the button now at the maximum it's gonna read is 2.2 2, 0.5 10 or 1.2 5, 10, 50. So you can you can adjust it that way too. I've never used that feature, so there it is back to standard power probe mode with a blown circuit breaker. So you can't send power anywhere. It won't work that way now. And you can test your your sensors very safely without risking, you know, a fifteen hundred dollar computer. And whenever you're done, you just push the circuit breaker back in. And it is returned to normal. So, a little safety tip with this thing, if you happen to have one. And if you didn't happen to know that, now you do. Hopefully that's helping somebody out there.
Thanks. If I can get this to shut off. 